Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner, and in this video we're playing grooves that use congas and bongo at the same time. Coming up. Welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other percussion. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, since some viewers requested it, and I reconnected with Henry Master Gibson, who you may be familiar with from his work with Curtis Mayfield. I think about playing congas and bongo together in a very simple way. When bongo is added to the conga setup, my goal is to incorporate the two instruments in a way that blends them together. In other words, I don't want it to sound like I'm playing bongo and now I'm playing congas, and now I'm back to bongo. That could work for some players and, and perhaps certain songs, but it's, it's not my approach to a bongo conga setup. In this first example, my goal was to play a funky part that uses the full spectrum of tones with this setup. So I started on the congas, on the quinto, and moved to the bongo, and resolved the pattern with the congas on the low drum. One, and two, and three, and four, and... If you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. To blend the two instruments, I play a lot of the rhythms with one hand on each instrument, ready for the next stroke. This means moving your playing position to the instrument before you strike the drum. Otherwise, you may find yourself making inconsistent sounds and playing patterns that lack definition. Sometimes, that can be cool, but often it's just a mess. example is more of a straight feel that's a little busier than the first one. It's based on the same pattern idea as the first example in terms of how I move around the drums, but this time I was feeling more rhythm in the bongo part. Also, I use more heel and toe in this example because it felt better to add it in. Sometimes it's just what the groove needs to feel right. These grooves require a certain amount of technique development on both congas and bongos. So check out some of the other videos and playlists on my channel. You'll find videos about basics for both instruments and technique exercises that'll put you on the right path if that's what you think you need at this point in your playing. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.